Jayhawk 250 here, uh, getting ready to do a bunch of mods on my bike. The X22R 250 from Venom Motorsports USA. Um, I got a whole list of mods. I got to do this. I'm gonna do this thing today. Uh, first, pull a exhaust off. Uh, locate the catalytic converter and remove it. Uh, put the header wrap on. Uh, rejet the carburetor. Uh, put an oil cooler on it. Uh, I got sprocket to put on. Um, I don't know I got a few other things here. I got a box full. Oh, put new LED light bulbs in. And I'll shoot some pictures and videos on it so everybody can see what's going on. Oh, let me fix my kickstand because it doesn't uh, go all the way up. It kind of hangs a little low, and I think they all do that. And a few other guys have done the same mod. Pretty easy to do with a grinder or a Dremel. So let's get started. Catalytic converter removed. Got the header all wrapped up. Cleaned out the uh, exhaust. It was had a pretty bad weld in there. Now I'll move on, putting it on the bike. Whole side torn apart. Getting ready to put the exhaust back on. All wrapped up, got it, ready to go on. I got the exhaust all on. No sign in powder. Let it all wrap. It did come in a 198 uh, jet. Uh, I switched out to 110 to start off with. Uh, didn't have the tamper proof screws, but the uh, idle mixture screw is plugged, so I'm on plug that and so I can adjust the idle mixture. Okay, uh, I got the uh, all cool installed. I had my carburetor all tuned up. Well guys, I woke up this morning uh, to do some videos on my bike. Um, didn't realize I had a problem with my memory card on my phone. So all the video I shot on taking the sprockets off and this sprocket I actually had, it's a 34 tooth actually. It was smooth on both sides and I had to mill out the back for the stud bolts but that was no big deal I just put a milling bit in my drill and and grind it out and I had video on that but <laughs> seemed to have corrupt files for whatever reason uh, I just pulled the memory card out of my phone and stuck it back in now everything's working I hope I had to wind moving four links on the chain to get the right amount of slack I also had to grind this out right here 
before I ground it out, my kickstand is hanging about right here. Now you can see that's pretty low, and that'll probably wind up hitting concrete, making corners. So I ground it out, and now it's just up almost perpendicular to the ground. Yeah, I still got it hanging on my bundy, I mean my ratchet straps. Since I don't have a center stand like I have in my Hawk, the jack just didn't quite fit any there well enough to make it safe. So I felt much better just hanging it this way. But anyhow, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. And also, uh, if y'all looking for good deals on motorcycles, we had an excellent company, uh, Venom Motorsports USA. These guys have been the best I've dealt with so far. I mean, from the very beginning, all the questions I asked on every bike they had, probably. And to now, I, I got it and start my mods on it. And don't forget, use the uh, special code JerryHawk250. You can get an extra 50 bucks off. Later.